Welcome to Being the Genuine Athlete podcast, where we inspire those who aim for excellence in life and want to understand the how and what it takes to be a champion in life. My name is Jura Koschak. My purpose, dedication and commitment is to activate your potential, that you understand the ego through your sport and life situations. So I share and give you the tools to be just this, the genuine athlete. Are you ready to tune in? Hello, athlete. Genuine athlete. Thank you very much for being in this show, for listening, for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, um, this episode is very special for me because it's a culmination of everything that I've been working on, of my life, of what I've been learning, what I've been experiencing, what I've been teaching to my clients, uh, to my family as well, uh, to my dogs practically. Uh, it's the Bible, the principle that really digs into the zone and it will give you so much uh, while listening to it and then using and implementing, implementing it and practicing. This is the it. This is the deal. Uh, so that's why I'm very excited and thank you very much for listening once again. Um, so the principle of life, the principle of being in energy, with energy, the principle of being creative, the principle of achieving, the principle of why we actually live, the purpose, of course, individuals, individual sport, team sport, whatever, it's not a generalization, but this is a principle that can and is applied in life, in general, in any way, and you are living it in some areas of your life, more in certain, less in some, not at all. But once you'll begin to live and breathe and feel this principle, you'll see the amazing effect and effect it has on your life, on your results, on your well-being, on your feeling good, on your coping with feeling bad, on you coping with your uh, with your injuries and you coping with defeats of your games and not in life because life doesn't have a failure life is not uh, you don't lose anything life is living life is about winning all the time even if you lose you win in life in match it's a bit different of course it's very cruel being an athlete being in sport uh, it's a cruel world especially when you're not being presented with the basics, especially when you don't understand the fundamentals of life. So let's get into the principle. I know you're excited as me as well, as I am as well. So the principle is to be young. The principle is to have a healthy body. The principle, the main principle goal is to be able to withstand strong energy. That's what you're doing actually as an athlete. You train you work on your um, physical, mental, um, all aspects, you work on that in order to make yourself strong, in order to withstand bigger challenge, better opponents, higher level of competition. That's it, but don't stop there. Because that's why I love to work and I like to work with athletes because you understand what it entails and requires from you as a human being in order what it means to train but don't stop there do not just train your body your abilities your skills in order to compete well to achieve a certain result in this or that sport live because you want and you know how crucial important it is to be healthy to have a strong energy in your body to have a pure strong organ because when you have a strong organ stronger energy can go through your body you might not you might might not be familiar with energy or uh, it's too much intangible or you think it's spiritual i'm not talking about spiritual not at all if you don't like that i'm not talking about religion i'm not talking about faith I'm talking about belief, as any athlete needs to believe in order to achieve. First, you believe, you visualize, and then you achieve, you manifest in reality. Yes, but that's another subject. I'm talking about just ask yourself, 
you were training hard, you lost a match or a game, then you trained harder, and then you've won or you've, you've received or you achieved a better result. And you felt being stronger, physically at least. But physically is connected with your mentality, physically is connected with your psychology, with your emotions, with your feelings. You had a better vibration, a better vibe. You had more of it. Isn't that so? That's what I'm talking about, the amount of energy. So you think it's only in your physical that you train hard, in your technique, tactic, physical, in your skills. But actually, it's all about energy. You expand your lungs, literally. You expand, you make your muscle of the heart stronger to be able to pump more blood, more oxygen, that you can run faster, that you can kick better, that you can kick stronger, that you can aim better on a higher level of competition. I like this, like an athlete. We're in it. I'm with you. So being a athlete who uses this genuine principle of life not just to win but to be a stronger person but to be a healthier person because why you want to be healthier why do you want to be healthy why do you want to be young the main principle of life is to be young and not to allow the damage the aging not to allow the the effects not to allow the effects of being old to influence you because you get injured also injured because your body was not repairing itself and you get injured because of mental or emotional because let's stay with injury for a minute for a moment you think you get injured because of bad luck because it's an accident because somebody fouled you because somebody did something what's not allowed but why were you there in the exact moment that somebody fouled you and that you got really injured with your ACL, with your shoulder, with whatever? Why sometimes you could avoid injury because you were present? Physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, you were present and you avoided that injury. So injury happened. Also, a traumatic, a acute injury happens because you didn't do the work prior to that. It's just from here to there, that's an injury. Sometimes you get injured chronically that you repeat some bad movements and then you have a sprain or then you have a muscle tear or something. That's like gradually building up towards the injury. Sometimes you are cut off, you are healthy as hell and strong and then you got injured. This is where it gets tangible for athletes with the injury because nobody wants to get injured. You don't want to go through the ordeal of being in the hospital, of rehabilitation, of physiotherapy. You don't want to be in the ordeal of, will I make the comeback? Will I be able to come back? Will I be able to be on the same level or better? What's going to happen with me? And then you get cured, healed, and you get injured the same on the same spot, practically, maybe on the same pitch. Hmm. Figure that out. And we can figure. So the main principle is, to every day repair more than you get damaged. Let's stick with this for a bit, with this subject. Repair. In order to grow, we need to destabilize and um, sometimes in a healthy way damage, positive way damage our body in order to grow new cells, new tissue, new muscles. But that's a certain level that you know that it's good and healthy for you, that you push, that you put under stress, under pressure, your organs, your lungs, your heart, in order to then grow on a higher level. So you push a bit that you're tired, you in a way kill yourself, not literally, of course, so that then your body builds new necessary tissue that the, then the next day or the next week or next month, you are stronger because you've told your body, look, I need this amount of my capacity of VO2 max or my blood or my muscles or something. You know how it goes to not go into those details. That's some level of damage. 
But what happens when you're not listening to your physical limitations that are there, when you're not listening to your body, when you just want to win and want to be the winner without taking into account your body, your physique, your emotions, your everything. When you just push because you're an air ice, because you, whatever you are as the horoscope, because you are ambitious, and then you push and push until there's too much damage that the body cannot repair there daily. Because whatever we eat, whatever we consume, whatever we think, whatever we feel, our body needs to digest. So if we put too much, you know that, let me just go in this as well, because it's connected with damage and repair. Whatever we eat, our body needs to digest. So if we put in our bodies too much of toxins, everything is a toxin in a way for our body, our body needs to digest it. But if it doesn't have the ability to digest that amount, our body puts it into fat. It's stored in fat, to put it as simply, plainly as that. So our body has a certain ability to repair, but what it's too much, it doesn't. It's damaged. It stays damaged. It doesn't have the capacity, the option to repair further. So if you daily do not repair, and there's more damage than repair, you are aging. Physically, you understand that, but it's also happening emotionally. So if daily you don't overcome, you do not understand, you do not digest and process emotions daily, then next day you are not younger. You have damage because more negative emotions have stayed in you as physical damage, wasn't repaired, you are aging. Emotional, you didn't process, aging. Mental, you have thoughts that you don't put out today, tomorrow you'll have more of them. You didn't correct, repair, reprogram them, you stay with more bullshit thoughts. And negative bullshit thoughts, excuse me for the expression because it is what it is, next day you're not younger. Check your grandparents. What are their messages? majority of grandparents some grandparents older than 70 80 might be with a young spirit young energy they do not allow the pain physical emotions whatever's happening in the world they do not allow it to consume or to influence them that's like exceptions of exceptions only few some of them majority of them are like it's life is hard, I suffer, I have pain, I don't know. My grandma was dying 30 years. Since she was 50, she was dying. And she passed away when she was in her 85th year of age. She was dying more than 30 years. Every birthday that I wished her a happy birthday, she said, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll die. And she was 55 and 60 and 65. Old messages. If you do not repair, repair, pair them with a new message. You are stuck with the old program, with old energy, with old disease. Because the main goal is of life to be healthier, to grow. We've done what we've done before according to the knowledge that was available, according to what coaches or parents or society school gave us. But now it's new knowledge available. New knowledge is available for you. <clears throat> new knowledge that gives you the option to grow every day healthier, to be a genuine, strong athlete. You don't need to decline in your physical, emotional, mental, psychological skills down because you're growing old. You're not growing old. You are aging if you do not repair. If you leave it damaged, when you activate and you're Repairing, reprogramming capacity and activation is on a high level. Day in, day out, day in, every day, next day, you are younger. And being younger, you're not sick. Being younger, you are healthier. Being healthier, you can have more results because results, trophies, achievements, results is energy. So if your body is repaired, you can withstand the strong energy of that result. You can cope with that energy of that result. That's what it's about. 
in life. That's what is the principle of being youthful. Why do all famous people, especially because we know them, but there are some not famous people that do this, that have money, they are not famous, but they have the funds, they have the finances, and they can afford the what? Rejuvenation. The lowest option of rejuvenation is facelift, is aesthetic operation. That's the lowest doping. Then you have some uh, supplements, but then you have higher level of supplements, then you have a more natural level of supplements, then you have the natural lifestyle level that regenerates, rejuvenates, repairs you daily, that you do not have more damage, that you have more repair daily. Why is that so important? Not only because like my um, schoolmates 20 years ago in high school told me, Yura, why are you eating healthy? Why are you taking care so much of yourself? You might die on the street. A car might hit you. Okay, um, you have a point, but you don't because even if I put away now and avoid something, maybe alcohol, maybe some bad food, junk food, like my peers were using or they were abusing or they were just living happy and fruitfully and joyfully. And I was like taking me away from those things that would, that would and could and did harm my body as an athlete. So I was keeping my body healthier because in case if something happened to me as an accident, car accident, my body, if I would have stronger organs, what do you think the option, the probability would be of me surviving? If a person who ate junk food, who behaved badly, who didn't do the damage repair daily, was damaged daily, 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 was getting older age daily, According, if we had the same accident and I was young and my organs were young, who would survive? Though that kind of an impact if we are in the negative situation. The same goes for some wins. We have winners in different sports, team or individual. Some winners, after achieving the trophy, consistently continue. Some players don't. They fall away. They achieve and they stop. They want to, they want to be consistent, but their organs cannot cope and cannot withstand the capacity, the intensity of that energy coming through them. In that sense, in that sense, it happens. If you follow and if you understand, this is how it goes with the life principle. And I'm excited that you're listening to this and beginning to open your mind as an athlete towards that, because athletes have completely failed the paradigm, have completely failed the intention, the purpose of being an athlete. Whatever happens to me, I just want to win. I want to be famous. I want to be recognized. I want to be proven. I want to achieve. I want to be the winner. Whatever happens to me, it doesn't matter. Whatever it takes. This is a very negative approach. And athletes, we have the option to change that. How? By understanding, by bringing in the paradigm, the new realm of possibilities of achieving things. First of all, because of the principle, because you want to be young, healthy, and you know that then when your organs are strong, healthy, young can withstand the powerful energy. Because achieving results in life demands of you to cope, to withstand, to be with one, with the intensity of that level of the result, of energy. There's not just I want to achieve, but not closing the gap. So now that you've touched the gap, you do understand everything by now. Please leave any comment, share this video with anyone, share this podcast with anyone who you know that could get benefit from it. Everybody, actually. So regarding the gap, we are living in the gap. The gap is always there. We are born, then we train as an athlete. You want to achieve something. You want to achieve this trophy. There's a gap to achieve this trophy. In the middle of the gap, there's a lot of opponents. There are also your disabilities that you need to acquire abilities in order to achieve that result, that trophy. 
that manifestation in reality of that trophy, of that win. So in order to close the gap, you need to train physically, mentally, psychologically, emotionally in order to close the gap. What is in the gap? Your weak organs, your weak programs, your disease. If you do not put away this negative organ, negative programs in organs, if you do not cleanse, if you do not close the gap, if you do not put away the negative messages, you will get sick or injured. This is proven. I'm not inventing or I'm not polarizing in that sense anything. This is the truth. You may get the result. You might close the gap by force. But if you haven't cleansed the shit away, your feet will be swept away. As mentioned, a lot of athletes fall into depression, frustration after achieving something because they did whatever it took, but they didn't take out the negative messages that, what, that were in the gap. The sickness wasn't taken out in order to close the gap. So new paradigm needs to be presented with the athletes. New goals, completely new set of mind, mindset, completely new skills. Evolved, developed for athletes, for you, in order to be healthy, in order to understand it's not just about winning trophies, it's about being healthy and winning trophies. It's about understanding the energy and winning trophies. And if you don't win trophies, you are healthy because what you're doing now, athletes, you're closing the gap, you're not winning trophies, and you're not healthy. One more time. You are not winning trophies. You do everything you train. You do not close the gap because you do not win that trophy, that result, that achievement and you stay unhealthy, you stay sick. Face it, you are doing it all wrong. You are completely doing it all wrong as an athlete. You are doing it whatever it takes, but you don't do whatever it takes. Doing whatever it takes is cleansing the shit, understanding the principle, the paradigm, the new reality, understanding how to cleanse yourself, how important it is to be healthy, how important it is to have strong organs, not just for winning the trophy, but for your life, because you then can be in love. You want to be in love? You want to win trophies? If you want to be in love, if you want to be in relationships, if you want to win trophies, your, or your organs need to be healthy. Only in that way you can withstand and cope and be with that intense energy of love in the relationship of trophies. That's why some athletes go crazy, go baloney once they achieve something and they didn't close the gap on all levels. They didn't prepare themselves for the fame, for recognition, for the pressure that happens when you achieve something. This is the pure uh, new approach for life, for being a genuine athlete. Being healthy, being rejuvenated, and daily repair and not damage yourself. No aging. It's rejuvenation. It's being young. That's the goal. Being young, strong. And if you win a trophy, being young and strong, yay. If you lose, you don't win a trophy, but you're young and strong, and you can withstand high intense energy, yay. We need to win, win. No more uh, win, whatever, if I lose my health. Health is not worth it. I know that as an athlete, you want to use doping sometimes. You want to do whatever it takes in order to achieve. It's not worth it. It's not worth destroying, damaging, aging your body in order to have a medal. Okay, so you have a medal. So you have a trophy. So you're recognized. You're famous. But can you have sex being uh, sick? Can you have love? Can you be in a relationship? Can you uh, evolve something? Can you do business being unhealthy, not closing the gap in the right way, not cleansing the gap in the right way, not putting away the sickness? No. So what, what's it worth having a trophy and not being healthy? What's it worth losing and not being healthy? That's a lose, lose, lose situation. I know you understand. And this is why I'm inviting you to close the gap, to train yourself, to train this higher level of performance, to really dig in, to really win this, because you can, you can. 
you can, it means that you can close the gap in the right new way with new guidance. You can close the gap and make your organs stronger and not aging, but youthful, rejuvenating, regenerating, repairing, reprogramming. You can do that. Every situation, every match, every challenge, every pressure is just a situation where you see the lack, where you see the gap, and when you have the tools on how to close the gap, when you have the tools how to put abundance where you're lacking, even if you lose, you're winning. And if you win, also, it's even better because you're healthy. Do you understand that? That's the new paradigm shift transformation that's available for you. This is not for me. This is for you, that you begin to be strong, that you begin to be in a completely new level, connected and completely inspired. So I welcome you on this journey to begin to close the gap in the right way. It's the only way. It's the only way that's available. It's the only way that's necessary. It's the only way to stay in the win-win. It's the only way to not age, but to cure yourself, to repair, to reprogram yourself. The only way, the only necessary way. So I invite you from defeat to begin winning in life. Winning, being healthy, being young, being strong, your organs enlarged, your organs ready to take on the intensity of life, understanding the fundamentals of energy. This is where I invite you. See you on the other side, DM me. I am available for your contact. You have my contact on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on, on Instagram. I'm on Clubhouse, wherever. Find me, contact me, and we'll get it going in the right direction, closing the gap in the right way. Thank you very much. Please leave a comment, like, share. Thank you very much. See you on the other side. Thank you for tuning in. Follow me on being the Genuine Athlete Instagram and Facebook page. Share, like and comment and be genuine all the way.